Anyone who's been on a roller coaster knows the scariest part is on the way up. It's all about the anticipation. Now there's data to back that up. Brendan Walker's an aeronautical engineer, but he spent the last five years documenting the science of thrills. He's working with Tussauds, donors of some of the largest theme parks in the UK, to develop new rides based on his findings. Now at London Science Museum, he's gathering new data. Visitors are being hooked up to monitors, and Brendan can see what makes their heart race as they ride on the ghost train. And he joins me now from outside the Science Museum. So Brendan, tell me about your experiment. How does it work? Well, what we've got here this evening, we have um, riders hooked up to a heart rate monitor, which is going to be broadcasting over wireless technology, uh, basically showing us levels of arousal that uh, the riders are experiencing. We've also got a helmet with a, a camera mounted on the end of it, which is also capturing live facial expressions of people's emotions. And again, we've got scientists this evening who are decoding this idea of sort of facial expressions of pleasure or horror this evening, in fact, with the ghost train. And we've also got a third piece of equipment, which is an accelerometer, which is strapped to the rider's chest. So we can also see the kind of the uh, sort of the, the physical forces being exerted on the riders as well. So have you been able to, are you still in the data gathering stage or have you been able to pull some of this together and draw conclusions? Yeah, I mean th this is uh, the first experiment of, of many more I'm sure to come in the future. It's the first time this kind of technology has been put together in any one place. You know, Brendan, there's something that's, that puzzles me about this because fear is not something we generally enjoy and yet in this case we seem to. How come? Yeah, it's because it's been couched in a kind of safe environment. Um, so basically, if we sort of let ourselves go a little bit into sort of a fantasy world, we can imagine that the ghosts and ghouls that we're, we're encountering in something like the ghost train are real. So therefore, we can start experimenting a little bit with these fears. But always, we still have the, um, the idea that uh, we're in a safe environment, so we can actually sort of withdraw at any one moment in time. So given what you know, uh, what, do you, what would you say is the best way to scare somebody so that they'll have fun? <laughs> well, this evening we had uh, Richard Cadell who uh, builds and, uh, builds and uh, creates ghost trains in uh, England. And uh, he demonstrated very much this evening, it was, it was the, whole, the old Hitchcock thing, it was build up suspense, show somebody something, a knife, a ghost, but never say when you're going to reveal it. And then it's the unexpected moment, people have been looking out for it all night, don't know when it's going to happen, and then bang, you sort of catch them off guard. And that is setting up the suspense and then, then delivering your promise at an unexpected time. That's the most fearful way that, that we can produce these kind of tricks. Now, Brendan, a lot of you're doing this research uh, so that, I guess, in the future, new rides could be designed. Could you give us a glimpse of what those might be like? Yeah, using the technology that we've uh, been developing here with companies like HealthSmart and Equator, the scientist groups behind this technology, I'm hypothesizing that maybe in five years' time, that the equipment, like the, the uh, measuring the, the rider's levels of arousal or, or decoding facial expressions, could be inbuilt into the rides, and the rides themselves could adapt automatically and tailor themselves to each rider's particular experiences. So therefore, <laughs> if a ride is becoming bored at any one time, you know, the, the computer in the ride could actually start making the ride go faster, turning the music up. So therefore, I'm thinking about the showmen would become more like uh, software scientists and the rides would all automatically update and create the peak thrilling experience for every single rider. <laughs> Sounds like great fun as well as great science. Thanks, Brendan. Thank you very much. Brendan Walker's a thrill engineer. Join me from the Science Museum in London, England.